Hello, I'm Kira Shields. I'm a Charter Physiotherapist. These exercises are particularly suitable for anyone with bone loss. So let's start nice and gently. You can place your hands up behind your head just like this. Now, if that's not comfortable, you can just place your hands in front of your forehead like that. Or easier again, you could just place your hands in front of your chest. You can actually do these exercises sitting down if that's easier for you. It's important throughout the exercise that your hips are facing forward. So let's get into position. So place your arms where they're comfortable, hips facing forwards, and we're gonna gently turn from right to the left, getting some really nice upper spinal mobility. Just gently turning. The exercise should feel lovely and comfortable. Remembering to keep your hips facing forwards as you turn. Bring the arms down. And now lift your arms up overhead and reach up further to the ceiling with your right arm and then your left. Really getting that lovely spinal movement through your upper spine. Now, if it's more comfortable for you, you can just bring your hands slightly down and reach up further with your right arm and then your left, your right arm again, and then your left. It's really important that we load our bones in order to be able to improve their strength. And marching is a really good way of doing that. So we'll start off by marching on the spot. And as I march on the spot, I'm putting some really nice load up through the bones of my legs, up through the bones of my spine, helping to improve my bone strength. Now, if I was to change direction, that further helps to improve the bone strength because bone responds to the direction of the force that we put through it. So as you change direction, you get this lovely crisscross or mesh of bone that's much stronger than if we only load the bone in one direction and we just get this kind of vertical or up down laying down of new bone. So before we change direction just make sure that the floor around you is lovely and clear, that you have nothing that you're going to trip over, that you've well supporting shoes on, well laced up before you start. So we'll step from side to side as we change direction, taking this nice and slowly to start. And I'm going to change direction again then by stepping diagonally into the corner of the room, going forwards and back. And we can change direction then again into the other corner of the room, across. Now as I do this, I can actually change my speed by either going a little bit slower or a little bit faster. And that helps the bone even further build its strength. So bone is living tissue and it responds to the loads that we put down through them. So today I'd like to show you how to put some load up through the arms and we'll do that by lifting some weights. So you'll have heard that either lifting weights or doing some resistance exercises are really important to improve your bone strength. I'm going to start by showing you how to do this without any weights in my hands so that we can just focus on the technique to start. So just bend your knees ever so slightly, just so that they're nice and soft. Pull in your tummy so that your spine is nice and steady. Slide back your shoulder blades and we're just gonna bend the elbows, just like that, nice and slowly. So if you're not used to lifting weights, it's a good idea maybe that you just practice this um, without any weights in your hands first, just so that you get to practice and the movement with some nice technique. If you're used to lifting weights, great. You can start at the level that you're used to lifting and then you gradually increase from there. So let's start here um, with nice and light, just 500 grams. So at home you could uh, use perhaps a bag of rice or even um, a tin of beans would be absolutely fine. So bend my knees slightly, pulling in my tummy, slide back the shoulder blades going to bend the elbows up and down nice and slowly and then to further target the arms I can lift my arms up over my head now this is a little bit more challenging so you might find whatever level of weight that you're at that you need to drop down down the weight just a little bit to be able to lift up over your head so let's do that so up over our heads and when you're lifting your weights, 
As you increase gradually over the coming weeks and months, it's really important that you just increase by roughly about 10% per week. So you would either increase the repetitions or the level of weight that you're actually lifting, but you wouldn't increase both. So the weight or the repetitions by 10% per week. So I really hope that you enjoyed today. I hope that you learned something and that you'll be able to get started with practicing some of those exercises to help you stay strong.